Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna show you how from our Express application connector to MongoDB, which is actually used. In our previous example, this is kind of like a hello world, okay? Because when we run, we actually didn't use any Express application. So now in an enterprise Express application, or node application, how to manage the connections. And uh, the way I show you in this version is also not good, okay? Also not a good. And next video is gonna be the good one, okay? This one is also not a good, this one. But I wanna show you, okay, the... So here we create a database.js. Uh, and then we still need to do something like this const mongo client okay equals <clears throat> require and here will be mongodb what dot uh, mongo client okay and once we got a mongo client okay we can using connect okay connect here the first is you give the url mongodb localhost 27017 let me check if it's correct 27017 oh, yeah, i'm correct i have a good memory okay then we copy this thing okay copy this thing copy this thing okay i haven't uh, changed my mouse okay okay so copy this thing and after that, it's gonna return uh, a promise to us. So we can use it then and a catch, right? And in a catch, we can do like this. We can do like a console.log arrow. You can also read through, okay? Through new error because we have an error handler, right? We have an error handler. I'm not sure oh, I, I, I comment that you can have error handler here. Okay, I didn't I comment that because I couldn't see the the actual error message. Okay, through a logo uh, error through like a uh, DB connection failed something. Okay, like this. I don't like a four dot only three. Okay, okay here remove and after that we will get the client right. Oh, sorry, sorry, here, and I'll go get a client. And then we will do what we do. Yes, uh, once it's finished, okay, the connect, we will have a callback here. Uh, okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, here. Mm. Okay, what you're gonna do, I will expose this one as a method. Uh, Mongo connect equals equals. Okay, I will give a call. I will define a function. This is a function and accept a callback. And then we have a thing inside here. We can use the arrow function. Okay, also. And then in here, yes, I was using this callback. To pass this client back okay which is uh, then what I'm gonna do is uh, exports module dot exports dot uh, equals mongo connect got it I export a mongo connect function okay which accept a callback which means once i connect successfully i can get the client and from client i can get all the things right so how to do that in uh the next step which is uh, i will use in my products which is uh, here previously our product is stored in array right now i don't want to save in an array instead i'm gonna save into the database in order to save to the database, I have to get this connection, right? How to get? Require. Okay, so first here, we will require const mongo connect. Then require from dot dot util and slash 
database, okay? And once we get a Mongo Connect, we can call it, right? Mongo Connect, we can call it. And meanwhile, when we call Mongo Connect, we have to give a call back, which means once it's called successfully, what's gonna do, right? And here we will give a client, okay? This is gonna be a callback, which is a function. Then we can get this function. Because here, see, when I call this callback, I pass a client, which means the client, the callback function, when I define, okay, I have to, I have one variable, which is a client, okay. So for here, I will do is yes, uh, first, I will, I will drop this one, okay. I will drop this online shopping, okay drop this database and now I don't have online shopping. I will store uh, the products in online shopping and the collection called products, okay? So what MongoDB do is, what is Mongo driver do is if the database doesn't exist or even though the collection doesn't exist, the first time you insert it, it will create it for you. So here now I get the client, right? Which is passed through here, client. Then I can get the client dot, what's the thing? DB, right? Which database you want? The database I want is called online shopping, okay? And you can continue chaining to which collection you want to work with, which is basically this piece like here. I got a DB, I got a collection, exactly same thing, collection. And we want to use the collection called products, okay? Then we can use, uh, if I remember correctly, there's one method called uh, uh, insert one. Dot insert one. And here, insert which? Insert this object. Then it will all, we will also return, uh, what's the thing? Uh, a promise for you. You can also continue chaining using then and uh, also using the result. This result will contain lots of information. I will just get the result, okay. And then by the catch, and the ER, we can use in console.log ER. Okay, now we are done the save. Let's run the entire application and to see if it works, okay. What we can do is using npm start, okay. And it's installed our uh, the application online shopping successfully, and now we just test if this save works or not, right? Uh, Localhost three thousand, and we go to add a product, okay? And here we give a title, uh, knowledge, price ten, image URL is this one, and description is good, okay? And now let's make sure the database, okay? First, with database here, I don't have any online shopping database here. Now, when I click submit, okay, nothing, okay? And then we go to our database, refresh. You will see here has an online shopping created and also have a products. And inside the products, you will see one, pro one object is being stored. This will become, this is a number. That's why he using an object here, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, this ID because uh, this is this is the keyword for the ID and uh, we, we need to refactor a little bit later, which is uh, you not using this ID using the primary key, which is uh, MongoDB generated for us, okay. So it works, right? And uh, this is the code we wrote so far. Do you think this is good? This is good? This is uh, terrible. Why? Because in this case, for every method, we have to uh, write this piece of, write this piece of, we have to uh, call the Mongo Connect and we have to set for the database we want to use and uh, the following, which is same, okay? But the problem is not set a database. The problem is here. When we call Mongo Connect, Mongo Connect, every time we call Mongo Connect, it will get a new connection. You know, to uh, set up a new connection to MongoDB, which is uh, not efficient, 
because every time you have to open a connection and you have to close the connection and do all the things, right? So very, very inefficient. Okay, oh, oh sorry, I forgot one step, which is uh, result. Okay. Probably you can console.log result and then, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, okay, and we will do is console.log uh, result and then we will do is uh, client.close. So in every method, you have to here get a new connection every time and a close. Get a new connection and a close. Get a new connection and a close, which is not good. Okay. And we should be using something called a thread pool. Okay. Maintain some connections every time we're just using that. Okay. Not like this. Every operation we are doing now, we will get a new MongoDB connection, which is really, really not uh, good for the performance. Okay. So uh, this one, I just show you uh, the not a good one. And the next one, we will refactor the code a little bit and to show you a better solution for enterprise application, okay, to manage the MongoDB connection, which is uh, pretty simple, okay? So thank you for watching this video. See you, bye-bye.